啊，新民高中薛校长、各位评审教授，参加一百零八年度外交小尖兵英语种子队选拔活动，中区初赛的同学、指导老师以及家长们，大家早安，大家好。呃，谢谢主持人刚刚的介绍，我是外交部公众外交协调会的副执行长崔静林。那仅在此代表外交部，欢迎各位同学及老师的热情参与，也感谢公共电视台。的规划安排，以及新民高中对今天这个选拔活动的支持跟协助，外交部跟外交呃外交部跟教育部从民国九十一年开始举办外交小尖兵的选拔活动，十八年来有将近两千五百个学校队伍，已经九千八百多位同学参加过比赛。那我们借由这个选拔活动，鼓励同学们在校际活动中互相观摩学习，重视英语沟通能力。培养团队合作精神，拓展对国际事务的兴趣。我们也很高兴地看到，这么多年来参加过的小尖兵们，有的出国留学深造，有的进入职场担任机师、主播、贸易商，有的也回到校园辅导同学们，成为新一代的小尖兵。那有的甚至也参加我们外交领事员的特考，加入驻外人员的行列。相信各位在完成学业以后。都会在不同的领域继续发光发热，也期盼各位保持对学习外国语文与国际事务的热情。未来无论身在何方，都能够一起来推动国民外交，为中华民国发声，担任台湾的最佳代言人。这也是我们外交小军选拔活动的目的。啊、呃，看着小尖兵们这么这些年来的成长茁壮。历经初赛、决赛的选拔，也走过了北美、欧洲、澳大利亚、纽西兰以及东南亚国家，积极的与当地政府机关、国际组织、智库、非政府组织的青年领袖进行对话，就双边的国家发展、人文社会议题深入的交谈，不但拓展同学们参与国际事务的层面，也深耕台湾与友好国家青年世代的人脉，发挥小尖兵外交的成效。英泰国家在地缘政治以及国际贸易上扮演的角色越来越重要。今年选拔活动的主题定为“新时代愿景，新南向同行”。我们也继续鼓励青年学子们积极参与国际事务，发挥才能与创意，宣扬台湾，并且并且搭建起与新南向政策国家之间紧密连结的桥梁，强化与周边国家以及人民的友好情谊。今年度全国有一百零九个队伍报名参加选拔活动，中区就有三十八个队伍。这两天我们将会看到大家尽情的挥洒创意，展现团队精神的表演，以及内容充实、英语流利的演讲，精彩可期。我预祝中区选拔活动顺利成功。更加的期待的是，在日后的国际事务活动中，与各位再度的相见，并肩努力行销台湾。最后，预祝在座的各位。平安、健康、学业进步，谢谢大家，谢谢。崔副执行长、杨校长，来自于参加外交小尖兵的三十八个学校的老师、学生，欢迎到新民来，祝各位今天有好的表现，谢谢大家，谢谢。第一对表演题目是《Quizzes for New Southbound Policy》。计时开始。Welcome to the quizzes for New Southbound Policy Conversation. <coughs> let's com let's introduce the participants who are all from senior high school students, David, Maggie, and Lily. The winner will have the trans exchange student to Singapore. Rule one for the conversation is after hearing. <coughs> Rule one for the conversation. Is first one who answer question. Who is first one who hearing the is after hearing the word raise your hand, holding board. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start the competition now. Question one. When was Taiwan New South Bank policy? Go. Maggie. Two thousand fifteen. Incorrect. David. 2016. Correct. 
Question two: Who launched the new southbound policy? Go. Thank you. Correct. Question three: How many <coughs> member countries in the new southbound policy? Go. Eighty countries. The new southbound policy targets eighty countries, including the of a state, India, Sri Lanka, Turkey, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Australia, and New Zealand. Correct. Question four: How many? How many students Question 5 What is water festival? Go, thank you Water festival is a Buddhist event Allowing people to celebrate the new year Correct Question 6 What is religion of Indonesia? Go Indonesia is mainly a Muslim country. Almost 9 out of 10 Indonesians are Muslims. Correct. Question 5. Question 6. How do people breathe in Cambodia? Go, David. They press palms together and slightly bow the head. Correct. Question Seven. Please look at the picture. What is the World Heritage Site? Polo Buddha in Indonesia. Correct. Question seven. Please look at the picture. What is the World Heritage Site? Go. David. Tag Mahal in India. Correct. Please look at the picture. What is the World Heritage Site? And where is it? Thank you. Correct. <coughs> Placing a flag song from the NPS country. David. I will sing, sing, sing song. Amazing, one point. This is the end of our competition. Today our winner is David. Please come here. You are qualified to be the express user to Singapore. If you learn more, you can you know more, you can get a round trip ticket to Singapore. Congratulations. <coughs> okay, Go. Thank you. The second competition topic is the genius from the south. Ji Kaishi. So 
สวัสดีค่ะ Thai people celebrate it with water. It means anything old and useless must be thrown away, or it will bring bad luck to the owner. Thank you very much, Kevin. Okay, let's go on to question number three. This question is about science. Prop, please. Wow, it smells great and looks like barbecue. The question is, in which country? I know, I know. It is in the Philippines. In my memory, I have watched a food program talking about satay in the Philippines. Sorry, Kathy, the answer is not correct. Haha, ha, I know the answer. I think it's in. Um, I think it's in. It's in India. Is the answer right? Sorry, it's not in India either. The game between Kevin and Hannah and in the time. I'm on pins and needles now. Satay is a popular street food in Indonesia. Yeah, let's go on to question number four. This question is about medical. Pro, please. Namaste. 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 Oh, ow. Oh. oh, my leg is bleeding. Who can help me? I can't help you. Who are you? Thank you very much. You're Thank you. welcome. I'm a doctor from Taiwan. Wow. In 2017, Taiwan government cooperated with Seed Foundation with medical cooperation plan. They also sent medical team to India remote areas and offer them medical services. Yes. So the question is, which hospital in the central Taiwan signed with Seed Foundation signed with Seed Foundation to promote development plan? China Medical University Hospital. Sorry, you have other answers. I know the answer. It's Chonghua Christian Hospital. Bingo! Time flies. This competition is a pro tune to the end. Today's winner goes to... The war between us. Where am I? Hello? Doctor, it's an emergency. Come quickly. Why are you ignoring me? Get the AED, nurse. What are you even doing? What? It's me? Why can't they see me? Why am I all like that? Does that mean I'm... Dad? But what happened? I remember. Two days before. Hi, everyone. Today, we have an exchange student today. Brenda, your mother's from Vietnam and Amy's from Vietnam as well. I'm sure you can handle the job of taking care of our new friend. Of course, Professor. Hi, Brenda. My name is Amy, and I'm from Vietnam. Thank you for your help, and I hope we can become friends. Fine. Take a seat. Brenda, you have been coughing all day. You should go to see a doctor, you know? It's nothing. Don't bother me. But I just want to be nice. Please let me alone, all right? 
I wish she could stop bothering me. My Vietnamese mother is the reason why I was bullied in school. It's all Vietnamese fault. Hello? Brenda, when will you come home? You never came back Mom, after you. I told you, never call me. I'm busy, okay? Bye. She has acute internal bleeding and a severe case of kidney failure, which are probably caused by a sort of schistosomiasis. Her symptoms are so bad that she's now in a coma. Well, in that case, there's a special remedy to help with that. Here's our special quickly developed prescription. If used correctly with the medicine in Taiwan, it could help hopefully. You may try it. Okay. Let me contact the other doctors and pharmacists and make up the medicine as soon as possible. Maybe I'll be safe. Whoa! Ouch! My head! Brenda, you're awake! Looks like the medicine we made with the help of the Vietnamese hospital worked. Come on in, guys. Brenda's awake. Brenda, you are awake! Yes, Mom. I'm okay. Brenda, I'm your mother. I was just worried about you, but you never tell me what's going on in your life. I know, Mom. I've been ungrateful just because of your nationality. I'm so sorry. Brenda, I'm so glad you understand. I'm just happy you are safe and awake. Amy, and I've been rude to you, but all you ever wanted was to be friends. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. Still friend? It's okay, Brenda. I never thought too much about it. Of course, I would like to be friends. My friends and family is the reason I'm still safe today. I promise I'll never judge anyone based on their nationality ever again. Maybe one day, I can go back to Vietnam and help those with a critical illness too. Brenda, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. The new Southbound Policy Game for Students in 2019. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Southbound Policy Game Night. I'm your Taiwanese host, Wally Chong. Our show today features King and players from three South Asian countries who will be answering questions regarding the landmark 2016 Southbound Policy. So, let's get started. Contestants, please introduce yourselves. Hello, Wally. Thanks for having me. My name is Teresa, and I'm proudly representing the country of Vietnam, known for its vision in the electronics industry and also its religious freedom. <laughs> Hi, Wally. My name is Anjo, and I'm standing here today representing the country of Thailand, known for its great high tech center and visions towards building its already large tourism industry. <laughs> Good evening, Wally. I'm excited to be here. My name is Yui, and I'm here today representing the beautiful country of the Philippines. 
known for its industrial outsourcing and vision towards developing even stronger English teaching programs. Okay, everyone, let's get started, shall we? Question number one. What year was the southbound policy established? <laughs> Teresa. The southbound policy was launched in September of 2016. Yes, that's correct, Teresa. 10 points for you. <laughs> Question number two. Whose idea was the policy and where was it drawn up? <laughs> Angel from Thailand. The policy was drawn up by President Tsai Ing-wen on the island of Taiwan. Yes, you're right, Angel. 10 points for you. Okay, question three. Name three of the aspects which the policy aims to work on between the 80 nations. <laughs> Teresa. Three of the aspects involved are trade, technology, and agriculture. Spot on, Teresa. Ten more points for you. Great job. <laughs> question four. Name the other three aspects which the policy includes in its cooperation among nations. <laughs> Angel. Those would be medicine, education, Yes, you're right, Angel. Ten more points for you. Great job. Okay, let's continue. Question five. Offer some insights into the new southbound policy. <laughs> Yui from the Philippines. Well, this policy does not aim to compete with China's One Belt, One Road policy. Rather, it is focused on soft power, improving regional infrastructure, and supporting education and healthcare. Excellent response, Yui. Ten points for you. Finally, before we hear from our panelists, there's one final question. Approximately, how much trade in US dollar was done in the first half of 2018 between all 18 countries in the Southbound policy? <laughs> Yui! Nearly 567 billion US dollars was handled during that time. Yes, you're right, Yui. 10 more points for you. Well, congratulations to everyone. As it looked like, our game has ended in a tie. Now, I understand that there has some behind the scenes work done by the three of you researching the southbound policy. Let's spend some time discussing them. Great idea, Ali. First of all, Taiwan and the Philippines had the vision before signing a new bilateral investment agreement in 2018. Taiwan has existing agreements with seven of the target countries, but many are very old and need updating. Taiwan's Office of Trade Negotiation says the BIA we signed with the Philippines serves as a template for future agreements with other Southbound policy countries. Also, the Taiwan Trade Development Council has been organizing trade shows both abroad and in Taiwan to showcase Taiwanese innovation, including the Taiwan Expo held in October 2018. That's awesome, Yui! Additionally, the Southeast Asian students on Taiwanese college campuses continue to grow with a 27% increase in their numbers from the NASB policy countries. Also, Taiwan's Ministry of Education is encouraging Taiwanese to study, work, or volunteer in target countries. Visions for the future include exchanging on the vocational level along with higher level training for university professors and government officials. Very cool, Angel. One thing I would like to point out is that in 2018, Taiwan launched the One Country, One Center program, where six Taiwanese hospitals formed coordinated efforts with the countries of Thailand, Vietnam, and the Philippines. These centers provide medical training for locals and help establish culturally sensitive healthcare environments. This decision involves offering long term benefits to Taiwan's medical industry as well as to the quality of life for the people in those countries. Okay, everyone, great job. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for another round of Southbound Policy Game Night 2019. The fifth round of the game is Unstoppable Super Sado.
which is the most popular shopping platform in Vietnam. Today, we are lucky to invite Stanley here to share his successful experience in the field of skincare. Hello, Stanley. Would you like to share your experience about how you grow into the competitive industry? When it comes to my success, let's begin with my marketing strategy, live streaming. Stanley is pacing back and forth anxiously in his office, reading the sales report. God, help me. If I can meet my sales target this month, I'll be bankrupt. But what can I do with a tight budget? Oh, I miss my hometown so much. If I were in Taiwan, I would go to a night market, buy stinky tofu for my grandma, watch the incredible auctioneer selling toys. Like magicians, auctioneers there can change people's minds in seconds. Not with my trick, but with their selling skills. Uh. I wish I could have their talent, so my product can be sold out. Hey, according to a new statistic from Google, should let Vietnamese watch even more YouTube. Maybe I can sell my product with Taiwanese auctioneer style on YouTube. This is how Stanley began his YouTuber career. His Taiwanese auction style and humor made his channel Unstoppable Super Saddle a huge success. Today, Stanley started live streaming, waiting to urge his viewer to buy his product as usual. Hi guys, this is Stanley. Welcome to my channel, Unstoppable Super Saddle. Hi guys, this is Lydia. Why are you here, Lydia? This is my channel. As a beauty influencer on YouTube, it's my duty to follow the best-selling skincare product. Your single month sales performance becomes a legendary in Ho Chi Minh City. How did you make your business so successful? As for my success, Tiki Shopping Platform plays a very important role. Taiwan External Trade Development Council joins hands with e-commerce giant Tiki. Sign the contract with Tiki, which encourages more startups to make land dream come true. Because of the encouragement from our government, Super Saddle has a chance to become a hit. I wish I could have such a strong support. Lucky you! Now, it's our QA time for lucky viewers asking questions. Winning prizes and discount vouchers. All you have to do is to call in and ask anything about our product. Hello? Super Saddle sounds like a copycat of Shiseido. How can I know your product is better than international and low local brands? Thank you for your question. The net is the combination of English Super and Japanese Saddle, which means make yourself look good. I am the best product endorser. After using it, I found the highlight is its golden proportion of ingredients, including vitamin C, collagen, and aloe. What's more, the bottle of essence is eco-friendly. It's biologically decomposable. Thank you for your call in. I will provide you with 15% off discount voucher. Hope you have a nice day. It's, it's our advertising, advertising time. time. A live forward for agriculture. Dad, right now in Taipei. Wow, let's 
fast path is so convenient, and there are so many flights to Taiwan. By the way, where should we go next? My professor just told me she'll come and meet us, so let's go out the airport first. Sure. Hey, look there! Here comes my professor. Hi, professor. Good morning, guys. How was the fight? Pretty well. Nice to meet you, Miss. I'm very glad to visit this astonishing, beautiful island. By the way, overlooking the Redem Island and the Pillage Machine moving in the flat are so astonishing to see. That's great. So today we'll go visit Puli, which is an important and cultural town in Taiwan to stand your vision. Oh, I'm so excited to see the high tide from in Taiwan. I hope I can bring some knowledge back to Thailand in the future. It will certainly help me improve my farmland. Yeah, and that's why you sent me to Taiwan for college. But still thanks to the Taiwan government for giving me a chance for a softball policy. Come on, let's get in the car and enjoy this view on the way. Here we are, here is this nation, Puli. Puli is one of the biggest and culture town in Taiwan, especially for roads. Just like any other place, fence roads as much as Puli. Oh, what's that? That's a greenhouse. This technology is capable of regulating the temperature and the humidity. Oh, I had heard about this amazing technology before I came here. It suggests the greenhouse is so useful that it can prevent young plants from insects, pests, or drought. Growing in a better environment, plants can certainly grow better. I have so much to learn because the Taiwan agriculture industry is so advanced. I hope my hometown can attend this in the future. Of course you can. I'll be very happy about that. Now let's meet the farm's owner, Mr. Garfield. He assured us his farmland today. I'm sure you guys will be very shocked. Nice to meet you guys. Welcome to my grocery. And here's some good for you guys. Oh, can I take a picture of you? Sure. Cheese. Ta -ta. Oh. The roses here are so gorgeous, and you have so many varieties. I see red, white, yellow, pink, and look, some of the colors. How did you guys make this incredible construction? I have investigated with Mr. Garfield for many years, and we found the most suitable temperature for rose is 20 degrees Celsius, and the water must be very clean, or it can be easily injured. That's right. The main varieties I call they are Miyamo and Puwari. These high-value plants can be used in many purposes. For instance, eating and food. Even if Puli isn't the best place to grow roses, thanks to the government and professor's help. On top of that, the agriculture in Taiwan eventually, I attended this waste estate. Wow, it really goes beyond my imagination. Isn't from me merely watering and nourishing? I didn't expect that you have such recognized knowledge. Absolutely, the Southern policies principles are the setup interface between Taiwan and South Asia. For instance, economy, education, and business opportunities. This interface reflects many people, so maybe you will see more Chinese restaurants in Thailand in the future. Moreover, people may create new dishes, including both Taiwan and Thailand elements. Further, the Southern policy may be able to study in Taiwan. I will certainly bring these techniques back to Thailand in the future. Sounds like a good idea. In this way, you can increase the output and improve the quality. Isn't that calling two birds with one stone, or even only two? Sounds great. I would like to visit Thailand if possible. I heard the food in Thailand is so delicious. Maybe I can add some into my roastery. Of course you can. Tropical fruit in Southeast Asia is not only juicy, but sweet, thanks to the hot humid climate. Maybe you can improve it and make it taste even better. Yeah, and that time you can check the achievements of my effort. My goal is to help as many farmers as I can improve their efficiency to improve their life. No, it isn't an easy job, but when you see their content faces, you can only feel happy rather than tired. Come on, let's go. I'll show you the most beautiful lake in Taiwan, Summer Lake. You guys will be shocked because the water is so clear that you can see the bottom. Oh, I would love that. Definitely plan to return again next year and show what I've learned. Thank you so much, Professor, for inviting me. And you, Mr. Garfield, for teaching my daughter all about Taiwan's agriculture. It will make a big difference to us in Thailand. Well, thank, thank you for listening.
第七对表演题目是 Dory the Explorer， 计时开始。
第八对表演题目是 Participation is future， 计时开始。Nelly, I'm leaving Taiwan tomorrow. I'm going to China. Oh my goodness! Here we go again. Another young Taiwanese reinventing the wheel. Come on! Don't patronize me. I'm fed up. This time is for real. I'm leaving this insignificant island today. Fine, Jim. We're all fed up. By the way, what's all this fuss? Because I care. I'm not gonna stand here and do nothing while we're being overlooked. I feel you, my dear. But what can we do? I'm gonna pack my things up and head to the airport as fast as I can. That's what I'll do. Relax. Now tell me what's going on. Why do you want to leave? Are you upset about Hong Kong? Hong Kong? No, it's Taipei. Taipei? What? Are they protesting Taipei? They should. God knows they should. Billie Eilish has canceled a concert in Taipei. Billie Eilish again? Yeah, and in two days she'll be in Beijing. By the way, what were you talking about? Of course, I'm with you. We can't turn our backs on our country. Active citizenship is exactly what we need. I am so glad we are all on the same page. I was worried that you might think I was just being pathetically patriotic, you know. Not at all. I'm tired of being told that Taiwan has no future. Taiwan is not good enough. Yeah, you know, I've been to Europe and to the U.S. and compared to them, in many STEM fields, we are actually thriving. Yeah, exactly. Despite what they say about our education, our students can easily enroll at any university all around the world. Right? Just look at all the foreign languages spoken in Taiwan. How receptive and curious we are towards other culture. The foreign national heroes are attracted by our business opportunities and our warm hospitality. Hey, hey, we're back. And we got something to tell you. What on earth are you two talking about? Are you out of your mind? Hey, sweetie, why are you so upset? Leave me alone. Come on, tell us what's going on before I miss my flight. I say leave me alone, OK? I'm tired. I have to study. And while you're here speaking like young diplomats or making absolutely no sense, I have to graduate and make sure my future is safe. What? what? Can you see what's happening around us, in our life, in our country? Natalie, we are all worried about our future too. Well, just not maybe everyone. Hey. Yes, and we don't want to be worried anymore. It's time to stop, stop depending on other people's decisions. It's time for us to be the master of your fate. Hey, well said, sister. Tell them what you just told me. Come on. All right, guys. We have changed our mind. We're going to stay in Taiwan. And no more complaining. We're going to invest our energies and our skills in the South Ball policy. What does that mean? Are you going to run for president? Are you going to serve in the army? No, nothing like that. Right after our graduation, we will find an internship or career in one of the ASEAN countries or in one of the South Asian ones. We are going to pursue our passions between there and here. Yes. We will try our best to invest in this side of the world for us and for Taiwan too. Taiwan is a great place and, and we, we love, love it. it. You two are dreamers. What does this have to do with being the master of your fate? Yes, I don't get it. What happened to all your plans to go to the US, run your own training company? And what about medical school? Jim, you don't seem to understand. Hey, Emily, they don't understand. <sighs> well, let me explain. In Taiwan, we have been consistently trying to develop international relationships. Languages, broaden horizons, openness towards diverse culture. And the new South Ball policy has turned Taiwan into an economic hub. All the countries involved are simply a showcase of opportunities. Can, Can you, you see? see? A safe future means you have the best chances to develop yourself and your skills. And all the opportunity I need are right here. She's right, Natalie, and you should know it. Your college has exposed you to a plethora of opportunities to engage with leaders in your field. They are right, baby. Come on, Come on Jim. Jim, let the adults speak, please. Fine. I'll tell you what. It doesn't even matter if you stay or go, Natalie. Wherever you're going, just don't stop being Taiwanese. Preserve your cultural identity. Uh-huh. Be an open-minded, smart, hardworking, and a successful Taiwanese. Be someone who travels and returns, bringing us a piece of the outer world. Um, Jim? Natalie. You're a child of Taiwan, and your participation means a lot for our country. I have no word. Well said, my friends. The term patriotic comes from the Latin word pater, which
which means father. And a good child takes good care and always honors her dad. Wait a minute. Is this really happening? This is just surprising. You're surprising. Even, uh, even I've been taking her Chinese medicines for the past few weeks. And man, I feel great. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. A Dream Beauty Salon, 计时开始。Business. You see, we've got hair washers and nail cutting tools. We think we should add more equipment. Yeah, that could too have the beauty business, but it's not enough to attract more guests. Yes, we need to provide a wide range of service to attract customers. We feel that shampoo is distinctive in Finland because it also includes face wash and massage. Wow, it's relaxed! We can add overall image design. Wow, so beautiful! Beauty, beauty! And gel nail. Wow, it's fantastic! Yes! The two services could highlight our futures. But that overall design includes hairstyle, cosmetics, Clothing, Clothing. Wow. and car ornaments. I am so beautiful. What do you think? I know I am a beauty and accessories. Well, well, well. You guess who am I? I know you are cat girl. That's right. What about your now? First. We need to apply a layer of gel on the nail and then harden it after treating it with UV ray. After finish, your nail will be colorful and bright, like a bling bling. Bling bling! Sounds fashionable. We should give you a try. Let me show you some samples. This is gel nail. 
Service of the store combine the future with Taiwanese and Vietnamese beauty industry. We believe the store will bring both countries into a new fashion trend. We will succeed! This is the end of our place. Thanks for watching. Miss Southbound.
the winner of 2019 goes to Miss Australia! Thank you so much! Congratulations, Jessica! Thank you. I'm so sorry. No, not at all. In fact, we're all winners. Yeah, I got a scholarship from the School of Dentistry of National Yangming University. And I got a scholarship from the Department of Electrical Engineering of National Chenggong University. Congratulations to all! Thank you! In the past, Taiwan's talent exchanges were mostly unilateral. However, we will focus on balancing the needs of both sides. Break away from the past. Rehash out new strategies and thinking modes. Let's create a win-win situation for our future. Thank you. The first performance theme is A Night at the Nature Preserve. 计时开始。Oh, wow, have you ever seen a place like this before? Uh, uh, sorry, I'm Amy and I'm from Taiwan. Hey, my name is Janice. There are many beautiful areas in Japan, but nothing quite like this. Uh, sorry, this is my first trip away from home. I'd like to get really close to some animals. Well, you might want to take a few photos. Good idea. Hello, everyone. My name is David Attenberg, and welcome. To the Borneo Wildlife Nature Preserve. Let's begin the tour. This is the box jellyfish, one of the most dangerous jellyfish in the world. Last year, I caught five golden jellyfish, so I could cut them up and look at their guards. It was so cool. Ugh, I'd hate to be one of those jellyfish, but I guess it was interesting research. No, we are just on vacation having fun. Oh, please, just continue, sir. Good idea. Please continue. Well, this way, please. Trying to help them, maybe they'll let us free. Janice, Amy. Dinner time. Teenager, my favorite. Uh, hi. Uh, we come to Malaysia to learn more about animals. 
so we can do more to help them. Really? That sounds nice, but I'm one of the last Malaysian tigers in the world. What do you do every day to help animals like me? Uh, I was part of Animal Rights Day last October in Taiwan. Um, here, look, here I am in a demonstration with my friends. And I'm also at a vegan group which makes videos to show people all over Asia how to live without animal-based products. Mm, full of languages. That's very impressive. And uh, what about the two of you? Um, uh, um. Uh, okay, I see. You can go. Please continue your effort. The lives of us and many of our friends depend on it. Okay, I'll do my best. Goodbye. As for the two of you, it's dinner time. No! for young people from all over the world. Come with me. Thank you. Let's make some tea. 计时开始。Yo, what's up? Oh, hey, Eric. Long time no see. Yeah. Here's a bubble tea. Oh, thanks. I bet you miss that a lot. Definitely. Okay, let's take a seat. Yeah, it's a long way trip. Yeah, I'm a little bored. Yeah. Let's watch some news. Sure. Welcome to Day News. This is Michelle. And we've got breaking news that a large number of drink shops in Taiwan are using tea from Vietnam. This made a lot of customers. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? You're gonna kill me! Wait, wait, wait. What's the matter? What? Everyone's talking about that the Vietnam tea is poisonous. It's poisonous. Again? What? How come you also believe in lab rumor? What do you mean? That's why my business is doing so bad. I don't want to explain. What? Man. Ah, stop arguing, guys. Science can explain everything. OK. And according to my information, Vietnam tea has been unsellable because of reports regarding to the misconception about Asian Orange. Asian Orange? What is that? Well, here I think I can show you something. Wait, I want to record this. It's got to be something special, right? Sure. And finally, the levels of any toxins are calculated and judged. 
So I guess it's non-toxic, right? Thanks, God. You finally got my point. Some technical things from Taiwan have shared some methods like plant disease and pest control, cultivation and management on a tea film. Wow, I've learned a lot today. I can't wait to upload this video. A few months later, Ali set up a new branch in Vietnam. Welcome back to the news. This is Michelle. And recently, a viral video explaining the misconception about Vietnamese tea had made lots of drink shops prospering right now. Look at my new branch. It's so gorgeous, right? Yeah, it's definitely a salute to the tea harvested in Vietnam. I have to say, your video really helped me a lot. Of course. After your video was uploaded, many people have changed their attitude toward Vietnamese tea. Yeah. And the Taiwan's government have carried out a new policy called New South Bank and Taiwan Desk. Well, what are these about? I can tell you. Taiwan Desk helps young entrepreneurs to open their companies in South and Southeast Asia. And with this kind of cooperation, we can be directly, directly imported to Taiwan. Taiwan. And with stable expert, I guess your company grows better, right? Yeah, definitely. And also, to local people, it creates more job opportunity. That means you have more tea families, yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. It is undeniable that Vietnamese tea plays a crucial role in the flourishing bubble tea culture. Without a large amount of Vietnamese tea imported to Taiwan, it is impossible to get a drink so easily today. The strong connection between Vietnamese tea and Taiwan drink shops should be valued. Oh, in all, now we have broken a stereotype of Vietnamese tea. And the new Southbound policy gives us a new way to seek a new vision and build a better future for the new generation. Now, let's make some tea! Thank, Thank you! you. The third question the is You Rise Me Up. That shows what it can do. Wow, wow it, it really, really can eat past. But wait, see, it's also eating a patty. Well, let's just take a rest. <sighs> Taiwan International. Our restart farming technique has achieved a huge success. Our government intends to share it with countries in South Asia to exercise our international responsibility. Let's turn to our agricultural association. There's a special guest coming from Indonesia today. Good morning, Miss Maya Isma. Good morning, Mr. Lee. Just call me Ray. Welcome to Taiwan. Please have a seat. Thank you. We learned that Taiwan government intended to promote rice stock farming technique in Asia. We're looking for possibilities through our cooperation. Sure. In response to the new South Bank policy, we're more than happy to offer technological consultancy about rice stock farming. Thanks for your kindness. Concerning this partnership, we can provide part of our farmland in return. Wonderful. I guess we can expect a win-win situation in that case. in rice duck farming. She was made from three different breeds of ducks, Beijing duck, Mallard, and Muscovy. 
we use this stuff to replace pesticides. Unlike pesticides that can destroy the ecosystem in a field. But now, that's only consume pests, which maintain the biodiversity. Brilliant! That also means the rice we grow can be natural, healthy, and without pesticides. Such a good little helpers! Mm. Wow, just only a few months later, your rice field has become so plentiful. We really appreciate your help. Only to rice stock farming, we no longer bothered by the past. This is exactly the goal of New South Bond policy. With the farming skills and rich soil resources here, we can make the best rice in the world. If we keep cooperating with each other, our agriculture industry will sustain longer. Tired and hungry. I cook some Chinese cuisine. In old times, farmers didn't have money to pay workers. So they prepare rice ruby milk to thank them. This way, we build the relationship of mutual assistance instead of money. This rice is amazing! It's perfectly fluffy and full of aroma. I wish our rice can taste as fine one day. Actually, this rice is grown in your field. Is it? This rice tastes so great. You know what? Maybe we could report this accomplishment in a UN conference. Absolutely. The rice stock farming technique deserves to be seen all over the world. To our successful cooperation. Cheers! Next, let's welcome the delegates of Indonesia. Thank you. 